I was commuting to school one day. The train was crowded as usual. She doesn't stop looking at me. Maybe it's my imagination. Uh, um... Are you talking to me? The girl who had been staring at me suddenly spoke to me. Wh what Wait, wait, wait! Don't move! What? Are you trying to set me up? I was at the mercy of this high school girl. I could feel the curious eyes around me staring. Fear set in. Three stops after she hugged me, the high school girl let go and got off the train. Thank you very much. What on earth? After she got off the train, the other passengers continued to look at me curiously for a while. I thought she was trying to set me up for something. Thank goodness nothing happened. I couldn't get that morning's strange experience out of my mind, not even during my lecture at college. She was a cute girl, but I didn't enjoy that at all. It's true that I'm a virgin. I want to be in on her trick, but I know that I shouldn't. One week later... Hey, until what time are you going to sleep? I've paid a lot of money for your tuition, so I won't tolerate you skipping school! Oh no! Why did you wake me up? I did wake you up! Many times! I hurriedly made my way to the station and got on the train, already very irritated. Jeez. Oh no, it's that girl again. Don't look at me. Why are you looking at me? Just as I was about to move to another section of the train. What? Wait. I'm not letting go. Frozen, solid with anger. I could not help but endure it. Three stations later. Thank you very much. Wait, wait a minute. What? Excuse me. What's been up with you these last two times I've seen you? Why are you hugging me? Um... He is always doing unpleasant things to me. I can't do anything about it. Uh... Don't cry. I asked my friends for advice and they told me I should ask my boyfriend to guard me. I don't have a boyfriend, so I just hugged you. Oh. I'm really sorry! I was so scared, I had no choice! Alright, I understand. Don't cry anymore. But, there were other men on the train. Why did you choose me? Because you seemed kind. It took courage for you to hug me, but it was scary for me to receive the hug. I thought you were trying to set me up for something. As soon as I hugged you, he stopped doing things to me that I didn't like. I'm sorry. But the next time you get the train, you will be scared again. If I'm around, you can hug me until you get a boyfriend. Is that okay? Well, if I get a girlfriend, we might have to stop too. But for now, I'll help you. Feel free to hug me. Yes, thank you very much. All right, I'm going to head to school now. Oh. Oh no, I'm late for class! I got back on the train and rushed to college. Every time I got on the train, I would look for the high school girl. Are you, well, okay today? Yes, for now. I'm sorry for making you worry about me because of all this. Um, may I ask you your name? My name is Nagisa Sato. I'm in my sophomore year of high school. I'm Haruki Kawai in my sophomore year of college. Um, do you have a girlfriend? No. Hey, it's only been a week since we met and I told you I was single. I can't find a girlfriend so quickly. But now I don't know when you have one, so I don't know if it's okay to hug you. So, I was wondering how I can find out if you do get a girlfriend. Yeah, that makes sense. Shall we exchange numbers? That way we can contact each other if either of us finds a boyfriend or girlfriend. We exchange numbers. Every morning, Nagisa would message me to ask the same question. Good morning! Did you find a girlfriend yet? 
Not yet. <laughs> this is getting annoying. I'll tell you what, if I get a girlfriend, I will call you by the early morning of the next day. I guess so. I'm sorry. One day during school holidays, I went shopping alone and was on the train going home. Huh? Haruki, hey! Hey! Nagisa! She's cute. You look different. I've only seen you in your school uniform, so I didn't recognize you. You look like a different person. Can I take that as a compliment? Of course. You look very cute. Your style suits you. Thank you so much! Huh? Nagisa, are you reading a Haruki Machishita book? Yeah, it's very interesting. I read a lot of his books. I've been reading his books recently, too. I've only recently started reading them, though. To be honest, I've only read a few books so far. I have them all. I can lend them to you if you like. Really? I talk a lot about manga and anime with my friends, but I don't have any friends I can talk to about literature. I will give them to you at the station the next time our school hours overlap. We checked our schedules and decided on a day to meet. On my way to school three days later, the train was quite crowded, so I got off at the platform where Nagisa gets off for just a quick moment. There I received the bag with the books from Nagisa. You can return them to me whenever you want. I've read them many times. Thank you. I'll let you know when I'm done with them. That night, I started reading one of the books I had borrowed. Huh? There's an envelope in here. There was a letter addressed to me inside the bag. Dear Haruki, I've fallen in love with you. It was a terrible way to meet someone you love, but you saved me, called me pretty, and I don't think I'll ever meet another man as kind as you, who even likes the same author. From now on, can I just hug you as if I was your girlfriend? I really wanted to say it in person, but I was too embarrassed. So, I decided to write it in this letter. Nagisa Sato. She likes me. I've been thinking about Nagisa in the same way, too. I was too in shock thinking about how we first met, but now I thought Nagisa was cute for seeking out my help. I wanted to hear Nagisa's voice, so instead of sending her a message, I decided to call her. Thanks for the book, Nagisa. Also, I read your letter. Do you have time to meet up next Sunday? I want to tell you something in person. Do you want to tell me something good? Or something sad? Something happy. Well, I'm so glad. In that case, I will be waiting for you on Sunday. As luck would have it, we bumped into each other on the train the evening before we were supposed to meet. I can't wait until Sunday. Can I hug you now? Sure. That Sunday. I've fallen in love with you, Nagisa. Please, go out with me. Yes. Please take care of me. I can hug you like I'm your girlfriend, can't I? Yes. You haven't had any bad experiences on the train recently, have you? No. It seems like you gave up because I have a boyfriend. I'm glad. When I graduated from college and found a job, I started living on my own. Nagisa started going to a vocational school, and she began coming over to my house to spend time with me and hug me. I want to stay attached to you forever! Hey, can I come to live here with you? Sure, as long as your studies don't suffer for it. I'll do my best. We officially started our relationship, and I went to meet Nagisa's parents. Nagisa continued to stick to me, so when she graduated, we got married. Our relationship started with her hugging me, so when we grow old, I would like to die in her arms. <laughs> 